Floridians are one hurricane away from a potential catastrophe. One day, artificial intelligence may be key to faster relief efforts, saving lives and predicting where the next storm may go. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska has more on an emerging field called disaster AI. The field of study for hurricanes and disaster artificial intelligence is emerging right now. There are a number of uses that scientists tell me we could use here in Florida to save lives and get people relief as fast as we can. Well, the, there's three focuses. One is on the recovery aspect. The second is the prediction. The storm is likely going to track to the east of 75. Neil Sahota is a United Nations artificial intelligence advisor, helping guide global standards on how to use AI for natural disasters. But actually other types of natural disasters like wildfires. So like they actually have 12 different AI robots that now help fight wildfires. You know, there's been a lot of work with hurricanes, tornadoes, mudslides, avalanches, all that, trying to predict when these things might happen. Is there really anywhere AI can't do something to help with disaster relief? You can't stop hurricanes. <laughs> Englewood up towards Venice right now, where Michael Paluska is, uh, this is as, worse, as, as bad as it's going to get in the storm. You know, we had pretty good straight line winds from the northeast. Give me one sec. As Hurricane Ian shifted its course. We'll pop in real quick. Many people in southwest Florida were caught off guard leading to more than 100 lives lost, and Sahota believes that AI could change that. We don't fully understand the behavior of a hurricane. Sometimes we're still surprised by the route it takes, but we're starting to realize that there are other factors in play, you know, ambient air temperature and pressure and ocean you know, currents as well as temperature. So we're, we're, we're trying to put the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle together based off all that data. AI relies on historical data. If you don't have detailed records of what you have done um, in response to a disaster and then have track of what's worked, what hasn't worked, AI isn't going to really do much for you. Raid Ghani is a professor of machine learning and public policy at Carnegie Mellon. He says the AI is only as good as the information that humans feed it. So that's, that's been kind of one of the challenges that, that people have faced is you can sort of, there's a lot of data on kind of predicting things because things happen, but if there's not enough data on how you responded and what worked and what didn't work. Every storm is an opportunity to collect data, but state and local leaders have to get on board. Right now, I've learned that the Florida Division of Emergency Management does not use disaster AI, nor do any of our largest emergency management agencies across Tampa Bay. We can at least pull all the people together, pull the resources from all the areas that are impacted. We could probably move mountains. We really could. It's just the, the, the reach out, that whole kind of building that kind of ecosystem is not in people's mentality. Could it save lives if we do it sooner? More lives? 100%. We could save lives. In Tampa with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News. With all that being said, the tropics.